Hey everybody, you're going to want to stick around today because we're going to take a look at one of my favorite Star Wars video game lightsabers. This is Star Killer's lightsaber from The Force Unleashed 2. Hello there everybody, welcome back to the Collector's Outpost, I am John. That's right, we're taking a look at another Star Wars video game lightsaber. This is actually one of my favorite ones from back in the day. This is the Force Unleashed 2 Starkiller lightsaber. Now, Starkiller was played by the awesome Sam Witwer, who also plays Darth Maul in the animated series. I can see him in my mind's eye. Kenobi! So, can it get any better than that? Man, oh man. Well, anyway, we're going to take a look at this. Um, this came over from Vader Sabres. Thank you guys so much for sending this over. Um, so let's get into this here. This is a Golden Harvest lightsaber. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to link a full walkthrough of the Golden Harvest stuff because this is actually one of my favorite boards. I will also put that link down in the description for you as well. Um, so this lightsaber, my goodness, this thing is beautiful. Now it should have a wrap on it and it does come with a wrap. Let me show you that. Let me show you quickly what this would look like on here. Now I do not like this wrap at all. So I did go out and buy a, uh, a different wrap. I'll link you to that eBay shop uh, down in the description uh, in case you want to get one of your own. And I'll show you the one I got too. So it's not bad. It's just not dark enough for me it's uh, a little too clean i you know you've got this beautiful chrome and black and then there's this kind of brown tennis racket piece here uh so i mean you could probably utilize this particular wrap on one of your other sabers so the wrap i wound up getting has more of this darker brown kind of cracked leather which i really really like i kind of give you an idea what this is going to look like I also picked up this aged black wrap, which is really, really sweet. I might wind up using the black one, but I do really like the way the brown one looks. So when I actually go to put the wrap on, I'll just make that choice then. I don't know, maybe I'll make a video. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see a video of how to actually put a wrap on. Yeah, so that's kind of what it will look like once I get that all finished up. Really, really like how that looks. So yeah, I'll put a link to this one uh, down below and uh, you know you can shop through the eBay store and see what else they got but anyway it does come with this particular wrap if you want to use this you could probably throw some black shoe leather polish on it and uh, dim it down if you wanted to but uh, those other wraps they only cost like 10 bucks or so all right so what else do we have here we have uh, the blade plug it is a hollow blade plug no pixels in it all right and then what else we got here we have a GHV3 Golden Harvest Operating Manual. So you have everything. This looks like there's one, two, three, three pages of instructions. Um, again, at the end of this video, I will link you to a full walkthrough of pretty much everything that's in here. And then we have a nice acrylic stand. I actually have one here that's always put together because I film uh, with this one over here. So it's always put together to show you. And then we have a USB-C charger, a hex wrench, and some extra little screws in case you lose anything here and what is any lightsaber without a beautiful neopixel blade man i gotta tell you this particular lightsaber i've seen so many times in the in that promo photo that poster that you know he's got both of because there's actually supposed to be two of these you know so it's like he's got two of them like this and i'm like oh that that saber is so i don't know it's just such a simple but yet really cool design it feels great in the hand to just kind of whip around there's nothing really you know besides the control box here there's really nothing kind of getting in your way of anything let's open this little guy up here and see what we have inside so inside we have the typical 18650 battery right over here we have the USB-C charging port which I absolutely love and then right here on the back we have the SD card which let me tell you Golden Harvest has to be probably the most simple thing to load fonts onto it is it, you, you basically make a folder drag and drop and you're good to go all right so i'm going to put this back together and pop on the blade but as i'm doing this let's jump over to the vader sabers website so we can take a look at some of the details so you know some of the pricing and what's included in this 
All right, here we are at the Vader Sabres website, the Skybreaker, Starkiller 2 inspired. Unleash your inner Jedi or Sith with the Starkiller's lightsaber from Force Unleashed 2. So you can get into the base lit version at 349, uh, the SN Pixel, which I think should be the SN4 uh, at 399, Golden Harvest, which is this one here that we're taking a look at, is 469, and the Profi version, which is 469. All of them are preloaded with a bunch of fonts, so you are set to go right out of the box. The first blade we're gonna see, uh, I actually designed really quick. It is, uh, it's a blue blade, which has a little bit of a wave and a flicker in it. All right, boom. See, we kind of have this, this wave going. It's not too fast, and then we have a little flicker there. And you can see, we have gesture controls on and off. Beautiful smooth swing. Flash on Clash, Blasters. And we got Force Effects. So let's take a peek at a few of the sound fonts this comes with. You're gonna hold the activation button for about two seconds. One, two. Sound menu. Now flipping through, the fonts are super easy. Balance. Just turn. Let's see what that is. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple of things about the Golden Harvest that I love completely. Number one, it's designing your own blade. I'll show you how to kind of get into that. Volume and checking your battery level. It's just all so easy. So let's start with just kind of designing a quick blade here. So to adjust the color, you're gonna hold the button for two and then click fast. Ready? So one, two, click. All right, now color changing is just turning and you hear that little clock sound. Let's go find a nice blue. So designing a blade is super simple. You're gonna hold the button here for two seconds twice. One, two, one, two. All right, now there are a lot of blade effects in here. There's uh, simple pulses, there's waves, there's a whole bunch. I'll just show you a few here. Um, these are just a few of the first ones that these just pulse a little bit. You can see they're breathing a little bit on the, on the shirt here. Classic three. So we got some flickering. Classic four. Classic five. In and out there. This is actually a very nice one. Classic six. I think the one I use a lot is two. Frozen one. I don't use any of the frozen ones really. I zip through a little bit. Yeah, I use a lot of the, the wave. There we go. See, like this? I kind of like that a lot. All right, now you could put actually a second layer. All you're going to do is just push the button, and that's going to give you, like, flickers and... See, now we've got that little white kind of dot going back and forth here. This one's flickering, kind of like a, almost like strobing, like a broken light. So I think this is pretty much very close to the blade that I designed at the beginning. So now we've got some rainbow colors here. This one's called Flow. Let's change that look to red. So we're going to go in here. One, two, one. And let's go over to red. Oh, look at that. 
That is super awesome. I love that one. Let's lock that in. Love that. Beautiful. Now, the other really easy thing to do is check in your battery level. You just hold the button and give a stab. Checking power level. 100%. As your battery depletes, this just gets darker. So the, the, the Sabre blade just kind of goes down. It's a beautiful way to visually see where your battery level is at. Adjusting the volume is, I think, probably one of the best ways I've seen it on any saber. A lot of the other sabers, you gotta click and then you gotta constantly push up, push up, push up, push up, push down, push down, whatever it is, and you go through the volume in steps. This is, you just tilt down a little bit, hit the ignition for like a second. Volume control activated. And then there it's on the screen. I mean, just turn. You just turn the saber. I mean, how easy is that? All right, I guess the only thing I have left to do is to get the wrap on, which I don't have time to do right now. But let me know if you want me to film that so you know how to do it and what to use and where I got the wrap and everything from. I will put the wrap uh, down in the uh, description below just in case you do want to just kind of poke around and find some good wraps for you. All right, my friends, that is about it for this awesome Star Killer lightsaber. Drop down below and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. I got a bunch of lightsabers coming up. I have a lightsaber giveaway at 10,000 subscribers with Vader's saber, so you don't want to miss that. All right, everybody, thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you all on the next video. See ya.